Star Wars, the Batman, yeah. the Indiana Jones, yeah, the I Harry Potter. Doing got me here in like thirty minutes, dude. Yeah, yeah I did. I did the Batman Lego as well. And I started There's on the Star uh, Wars one, and, and then I went out and got the Marvel oh, one. So I was like, well, let's play okay. this first. Then we'll I go back to the like Star a lot Wars. I eat this weekend, so I probably won't hit the uh, orchards. Like I had lunch yesterday, and that was it. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> All right, we ready for a recap? Good to go. So we'll start from the beginning for since Bree's here. You were press ganged into uh, a ship called the Wormwood by Captain Barnabas Harrigan. And once you were press ganged, you had to serve as crew. During your voyage on that crew, you had a member die violently. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, and uh, you had a mermaid cleric um, scuttle around the boat who is now in and out. He's in somewhere in the water. However, a merman. Yes, he's oh. a merman. Yes, uh, he's not very fast on land. But anyways, so you guys captured a boat called the Man's Promise, and when you captured this boat, Captain Barnabas Harrigan put his first mate in charge of that boat. Well, the boat ran into a storm while someone was recounting tales. Right. Don't say who? And. Uh, Was it me? <laughs> yeah. It was our bard, and then after, once you, you, you ran aground, but during that storm, Mouse decided to mutiny and kill the first mate, and... Uh, who was mysteriously tied to the wheel. Who was mysteriously tied to the wheel. Mouse did not do that. And uh, in the end, Rosie Cuswell, the crew elected Rosie Cuswell, one of your trusted allies, to be the captain. So more of a figurehead position, where the real power is kept by, you know... Bards? Yeah. Because <laughs> it's all about the story. Yes, yes. So she's captain. Do you have the power of the narrative? <laughs> yeah. But unfortunately, she was captain of a grounded vessel. The storm threw you aground on um, uh, this island. And on this island, there was actually a cult to Lavashtu, which is an uh, undersea god, and she's, she's just very, very evil. She's the god of deep sea creatures. Oh, Wasn't she the god of tentacle form? I thought that we could just Tentac have a... Oh, yes, we did. She is the god of tentacle born, And too. the legend of hentai hollow? Oh, hentai. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot that one. <laughs> so, um, um, the island's name was Bone Rack Isle. <laughs> I racked my boner. <laughs> so you got rid of the cult, you fixed your ship, and killed, now you killed the whale. You 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 killed the whale and the, the don't forget the, the, the undead priestess. prostitutes. Oh yes, we cannot <laughs> forget. There were uh, there was a ship that also grounded there, and on the island they there's these flies, and these flies infect with a, a ghoulish type of. Disease. So the ship's prostitutes turned into ghouls. So they were running around the island, killing everything. Are Here's they a nice male picture. Prostitutes? Here's a picture of them. All women. Mm. Nice. So, you guys. I'm so glad. <coughs> Jack's not playing with us anymore. Too. I know. <laughs> <laughs> not that I don't like your son. Right. But, but a PG-13 version of we which prostitutes is tricky. It is. <laughs> it is uh, very tricky. So, the last order, and, and Rosie Cuswell fell uh, ill to this to this curse that the the witch on the island gave her. However. One of your crew members decided to help her and heal her. And oh, she was turning into that. You're welcome. Oh. Yeah, not good. I thought she was just dying like the other dude. Yeah, no. So, see, this is what happens when you know alchemy. You know what's going on. I know alchemy. Alchemy. Although, don't feel bad. Count cooking is like alchemy. <laughs> I was gonna say, I feed the crew, so you know, I, I yes, got my yes, hands full. You do. It, <laughs> You have our cook. So, in the end, one of her, you know, she's kind of still feverish, and she's in and out, and one of her last orders is she goes, we have to squib the vessel. And she goes, Bard, are you listening? I, yes. I squib the vessel. I'm ready. Oh. 
<laughs> Squib the vessel. We she make sail for Rickety Squibs. Yes, we must sail for Rickety Squibs. Oh, thank immediately. You. Yes. <laughs> and with that, she kind of points to the map, and Rickety Squibs is a two-day journey, providing good winds. And she says you must re-outfit the vessel in order to make sure Captain Barnabas Harrigan doesn't just instantly spot the vessel and destroy it. Do we know anything more about that location other than it's a, a chop shop of sorts for boats? It's on the Slithering Coast. It's about a hundred miles away and it's uh, run by a man named Rickety Hake. And she said that's all she knows. Rickety Cake? Hake. Hake. <laughs> Rickety love cake. cake. I'm about to have some rickety cake. Rickety cake. <laughs> I know, right? Hake. Rickety hake. And that is all you know, but you have two days to heal, to rest up, get things in order. Did we get enough supplies off the island, Scott, for the galley? Yeah, yeah, you have supplies. Uh, that's why I was asking. I'm assuming this is a port of some kind, so hopefully we can get... It's a small port. I mean, you can get, you know, the normal supplies. But we had uh, Huey, Dewey, and Louie on the island. I assume they were doing something... No, they were huddled in the, in the hut. Yeah, they were held up in the oh, hut because true. of... They did get water, though. You have the barrels of water, so... <laughs> yeah, we, we, we made we're sure not going to die after... Yeah, and, and, and again, you know, it hasn't rained at all. So, to in order to fill up your tanks... Your water tanks, it, you just haven't even had the opportunity. Well, we had a cleric that could cast create water. <laughs> yes. <laughs> or a cleric who could cast desalination. Yeah, but uh, you don't have a cleric. Were that, were that a spell? Oh yeah, that's the uh, party rule. If you die, you come back as a cleric. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes. We should establish that quickly. <laughs> Which is I, fun as far as house rules go. Because we all are now invested in our characters. Yeah. <laughs> no one wants to play yeah, the no must, not to play die. The must not die. Don't I just needed the campaign. We'll all be clerics. <laughs> Five 15th level clerics. I'm going to come back as a cleric of war, so I can't cast any type of water or anything mm -hmm. to help you guys. This is your character. <laughs> okay. So just don't let them see that, and I'll let you know when you come in. Okay. This is session number six by my count. Is that six true? Go to YouTube. YouTube knows. I think it's six. You <laughs> think it's seven? YouTube. Oh, because of the video. I yeah. thought it was seven. I haven't watched any of those twice. Yet. We played Have in you your watched house. any of them? Mm -hmm. Is that four or five? I've been meaning to. I, thought five. I, watched, I watched them Maybe all a day four. or two after we. You might be right. It might be it's a good way to go this back. This is the second time. I should here. actually watch yes. those go back and watch. I'm thinking six. Because I started to a while back and then I just kind of. How are we doing on in terms of space? I don't, know by, his, space? I don't know by his notes over here. <laughs> you, you've been so busy at work. You know. Are you got enough space? Yes, exactly. I have enough space. You don't have time. Yes, I know. All right, so we all caught up. Here, we're in there, man. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> so the first day of your voyage, um, all of you are kind of up deck. You got You're space? kind of doing your general thing. You are, you know, mopping and just making sure you're going in the right direction. You're having to follow the coastline pretty well, pretty closely, because this particular place, um, Rickety Squibs, is hidden. The only way you can find it is there's this brownish water that extends, because you actually have like a little peninsula that comes out. Poopy water. Poopy water. You're really water. telling us to follow the brown flow. Yes. But you, you, you can't see it right now. You're just sailing along. But you hear this painful bellow down below deck. It just sounds just like... Oh! <laughs> it's Owlbear. That's wrong with Owlbear. It sounds exactly oh, like Owlbear. No. It's a sound that. I heard the last time I went to Dave's house. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you guys do? I want to go help him. Start putting prunes in his food. See what's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, we got to go see what's going on. Anyone staying up top? Watch out, he's a wild man. 
Um, do you guys want to go down? I'll stay up top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kryptonite's on his way down, man. Okay. Alvarez in trouble. I'll, I need to I'll be stay part up of top. that. I'm, I gotta, I, I'm the guard, so. I'm the so scout. So you get there, and Owl Bear is next to that big jug of perfume that you got. Oh. Two barrels. Oh. Two, oh. Barrels. Oh. Two barrels of perfume. I got, right, I got them on my character sheet, man. Shit. And uh, he's like, oh, oh and you yeah. see this mug. Oh, he's nice. drinking. He thought it was That's like wine good, or man. ale, not good. and his stomach really, really hurts, like Al a lot. Albert, have you been drinking that stuff? It's not good wine. Yeah, it's says. not. It's not good wine, buddy. I'm. I'm gonna go back to my lab and see if I can cook up some epicac. Okay. Yeah, he is hunched over, but. You, anyone want to check the cask? I'm working on the epic cask. You, he's actually drank one full barrel of this Christ perfume. Oh you right. actually lost a barrel. Oh, so. oh I'll mark it off the character sheet. His pee's going to smell like flowers for a week. <laughs> yes. It wasn't good smelling perfume to begin with, so now it's, it's <laughs> devastating. But that's the only thing that happens... Outside, you you make up some. Go ahead and give me a skill check roll. It's easy. I can't even read this damn thing. I rolled a ten, so that's like. Oh, yeah. You only need a twelve. Yeah, you you make something up and you give it to him, and he asks. He's like, salty pepto pepno abysmal. This makes stomach stop hurting. You're gonna you're gonna throw up, but then you'll feel better. No, no throw up. You need to, Owlbear. You need to. Otherwise, you might die. Give me a diplomacy roll. <sighs> I hold up the bag of ferns, and I'm like... You incorrigible little... Coming ball. out the top or the bottom, bud. Not it's 18. coming out the top or the 19? bottom. 19? 18 on the bottom. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so he, he trusts you, and he drinks it, and within the hour, he's... Within in 10 minutes. minutes, yeah. He is literally healed over... On the side of the boat, what just hurling, hurling, just this big monstrous of a man is just like <laughs> in a fetal position throwing up. And what but is that, the bard singing about this? Better? Yes, what is the bard singing? Yes, he does feel better after that. That night, he he thinks about having that perfume again, that wine. Yes. But he does not. Oh, he learned. <laughs> I'm going to put a big red X <laughs> on the uh, the barrel, the remaining barrel. Part of the reason he was drinking it is the last day you were stranded on Bone Rack Isle, you ran out of rum. This is a problem. What? <laughs> Wait. Yeah. This is a delayed reaction there. <laughs> Took a minute to sink in. Yes. Shock. And then... Finally, the ability to speak came back to me. <laughs> All sails. We need to get to that board now. <laughs> so Remember, you... I need it for my worship. Oh, that's right. This is not, this is unacceptable. I would have kept a stockpile for that. Yeah, a little. He, there's a, there's so a you, tiny you're, you're bit for you. That. There's a few shots, but that's it. Not enough. <laughs> well, no, not nearly enough, but you're, you, you have enough to maintain your relationship with your deity. Am I, is it me now? Oh, almost. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll let you know, I'll let you know. So, you guys make your way along the coastline. Yes. And you eventually find the peninsula uh, that is Rickety Squibs. You round this tall headland that reveals a hidden cove at the mouth of a wide jungle river. It's sluggish brown waters staining the waters of the blue sea like an ugly bruise. A series of docks have been built upon the estuary, with buildings concealed beneath the overhanging limbs of the jungle beyond. And that's what it is. Like, you see this river just coming out, but it's hidden by, looks like this. It's hidden by this peninsula. So anyone just sailing along, this looks just like the same piece of land. Oh, you really can't okay. see it, yeah. especially from a distance. So you guys kind of start to pull in, and uh, you see up here, yes, you see this brown and yellow flag go up. Brown and then all of a sudden flag. here, 
There's a blue flag blue that gets raised. Uh oh. I think I played this any, video any game. Any idea what that could mean? <laughs> huh? Do, do we have any way of knowing what that could mean? I think it's a signal for something. You, you can. Well, thank you, Sherlock. <laughs> <laughs> Feel free to go ahead and roll for it. What am I rolling? Uh, sailing. Knowledge. Oh. Knowledge. Lore. Yo ho yo ho. Eleven. Um, profession sailor wouldn't. Oh, I got a fifteen plus 20. eight. Oh wait, this is a knowledge check. Knowledge. Knowledge. Local history or geography. So twenty-four. Local history. Local history. Oh, plus five. So twenty-four for I'm me. I'm about to shot. nail this. Watch. Here comes the bard. Ready for this? Bard's not gonna get hit. Boom. That's a twenty-five. <laughs> you beat me by one, dude. <laughs> And I crit it, dude. Dave, I love how you're using a dice tower to store your dice. <laughs> yeah. the open I didn't have time, man. I'm still struggling with my, my general. We all know. I got a 20. You got a 20. So Arr. you are the only one that knows. Yeah, this I'm is the only one that very, knows. See this? Because oh, okay, of the okay. slithering coast. Yes. Has it, like, you guys know these flags, but Isn't that the slithering? Is, Isn't that the dude from Harry Potter? It's Pond? generally yellow and brown and not brown and yellow. So that's kind of thrown you off. But you know that the Slithering Coast uses a reverse symbol. Oh, and basically course. what it's saying is someone's here and then the blue flag got raised. We understand. And then they're telling your boat Kill them to all. stay there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're telling you to anchor. Anchor right here, guys. Are you going to anchor? Yeah. Okay. Your captain gave an order. What do you mean are we going to anchor? <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're Where in are a, they anchoring? They're, they're anchoring right in this little cove. Oh, okay. Right okay. here. Um, so you see this little boat come out. I don't like what was on the next page, Scott. <laughs> <laughs> you see this little Spoilers. boat come out, little and the kid. boat's called the Pickering. <laughs> And, uh, and and it's just like a little long boat that has a little mast. Yep. And there's there's two young men on it, and they're kind of doing the sails, and one's doing the rudder. And then there's this old guy that pulls up to your boat, and he's... <laughs> <laughs> he's got tattoos of anchors on his forearms. <laughs> I was looking at the map. You turned oh, the page no, we've already on had the Popeye. So <laughs> he, he pulls up and he kind of knocks on your boat and says, Throw down the ladder. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Shit. Where do I put the ladder? <laughs> it's a rope so, ladder. Come on. So he, he climbs up. It's hard for him. And this little, old, short, stoop back old man with a leathery, weather worn face, watery blue eyes and a halo of frizzy white hair and quite a few missing teeth. This is Rickety Hake. Rickety yeah. Hake. Yeah. yeah. Rickety. It, it's an old version of Bob. <laughs> he, what up, Rickety? He goes, uh-huh, the man's promise. I've seen this boat before. And he starts walking around and he's like touching all the railings He's like, yes, this will have to come down, and this uh, will change that, and there'll be two sails instead of one. And he's going throughout your whole boat right now. And apparently just, you know why we're here. We want hydraulics and a kick-ass sound system. <laughs> <laughs> Don't so, forget the ground effect. We want to hear this thing playing low he, rider. He, he goes, I know why you're here. Yes, uh, the only reason people do come here. And he's kind of just hobbling around. And this place is, you know, it's it, it was an empty coastline that you guys were sailing. So it's out in the middle of nowhere. How much for nitro? <laughs> <laughs> well, he tells you. After he goes through his whole thing, he goes down below. And remember the nameplate that you had up there. Oh. And he goes... Yeah, I put that there. And remember how there was a nameplate behind? Yes, yes. You're, so apparently this boat has already been squibbed <laughs> before. And, uh, and you see the lettering on it looks like this. What do you think, Logan font? Hmm. 
Yeah, and like squid. there's an R in there, and there's an H in there, and that's how he signs it. It's oh. rickety gotcha. hake. Very cool. His calling card, if you will. Yes. And he goes, this, this is quite a job. And Every forger signs their work. You know we are very secretive. So nothing will be said. This boat will forever be your, your new boat. But it's going to cost you... Two thousand gold. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Two thousand? We're just looking for a touch-up. You've already done the main work. We just need you cleaning up the mistakes you made on the first pass. Hey, <laughs> I shove an apple in there. Yeah. <laughs> no, we saw through this disguise right away. If we're gonna squib it, let's squib it right. I'm not sure we want to use rickety is, again. Is, I mean, okay. Do we have enough uh, booty on board to cover that or no? I'm assuming not. Well, no, Rosie's got booty. <laughs> <laughs> We're not selling her in, in for slavery, no. Um, you do not. You, you probably have most of it. About 1,500 is what you, if you, especially if you want to get rid of the hammock. Oh, the magic hammock? <laughs> yeah, no, the I'm magic like, hammock. Why is the hammock <laughs> so much money? Well, we keep our bananas there. <laughs> So you you think you could scrounge up fifteen hundred, definitely. Okay. Somebody talk him down. Kryptonite. Yes. Um, I know you're not on board with this, but talk him down. We can't pay that much. So you. Well, what are you, we actually wait, looking wait, for you here? You really said that, like. Yeah, yeah. I'm not happy with the no, previous job. No, he did not get that out. <laughs> he did say that. I mean, if Squib's gonna do Squib's work, we need to see some serious progress here. Like, look at these sales. You did these last time, right? Look at these sails. They look exactly like the originals. No, this boat looks completely different. And from my memory, and it is very solid, you yes. were not part of the old crew of this boat. Oh, no, no, no. We took ownership of this boat just recently. Which is why you need it squibbed. <laughs> oh, wow. The short one doesn't know. He's got you by the balls there, David. No, 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 no. We need, we need, we need a, a, a redo of the existing squib work. Right, just a touch up. Just a, you know, what do you do when you when you get your hair dyed and then you go in and you get the roots cleaned I, up a little I, bit? I, yeah, we just need, you know, <laughs> a blow dry and trim. You, you want to get rid of your bangs? Rick, Rick, yeah, yeah. We just need the, we just need the, the bangs bang straightened job. up a little bit. Rick, Ricky uh, tells you. He goes. Not understand. No, I don't. No, he doesn't. <laughs> I do, however. The captain that took this boat will spot this even at night mm -hmm. if all the lines are not changed. Yeah, the lines have to be changed for sure. I mean, that goes without saying, right? These lines are old. I'm not sure you used good material the first time through. No, Clearly, we need to do the gross. lines. <laughs> the lines. The you, don't, you don't come into the man's office and then insult No, he work. came onto our boat. What do you mean, our office? I didn't this hear permission his, to come aboard. Did you hear permission to come aboard? This is his I heard coat. throw down the ropes, the ladder. This is his, this is his cove. Whose cove? His cove. His oh, cove. yeah, it's a good cove. You got a great cove. <laughs> Here's what we can do. We can do. <laughs> Why did I just heard you got to pour your mouth? <laughs> we can do 800. We can do 800 to redo the masts and like the decks, but we don't need to do anything else. We know we need everything. He goes, you need this boat squibbed, and he kind of takes your arm yeah. and pulls you to the side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Show he me. goes. Are you the captain? <laughs> <laughs> Currently, I'm not the captain. Currently, I'm not the captain. I but, ask him uh, if there's any uh, favors we can do to maybe get a discount on the bill. All right, he's one of those queer pirates. We don't want to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> he's from the Buck Pirate Clan. <laughs> Not like that. Um, <laughs> surely there's something you need that maybe we can help out with. Yeah, a little security work. He goes. I get a boat in here a month. Boat a month. And I work for five days a month. And I work very hard for those five days, and then the other 25 days, I, don't I get remember. to sit on my butt. <laughs> he goes, I do not need anything. However, we will take 
some good clean water if you have some. Mm. We do. How clean is what we got out of Whitey's pond? How it much, was it was pretty clean. <laughs> how much how much do you need? He goes We need enough to distill and to rub. It's easily the water we have is easily that that pure. He goes if you look at my river, and you know, he points to the river, and you guys can see it. It is low, sluggish. The banks, Brackish. you know, are would normally be up to here. The banks are all the way low down. Low delta on the water. Absolutely. So, he he goes. I'll take some water, and seventeen fifty. We can give you fifteen hundred. That's all we have. Whoa, 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 whoa! Negotiations, my friend. 1,500 is all we have. 800 is all we have. <laughs> what are you doing to us here? I'll take 1,500. <laughs> what? The tonight, we're pirates. <laughs> we're pirates. We'll get more. Well, no. Look at these young men. These young men clearly need to be apprenticed out. Right? They've been sitting at these docks too long. They've become lazy and slow-witted. You definitely need to apprentice these guys out. We'll take all of them. You only have to pay us 250. <laughs> my oh, we're, I thought they were young, young kids. No, they're. This looks like labor. Yeah. Oh, I thought these were these. Young men. They're, they're, they're children. 18, 19. Teenagers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His own apprentice. This is work, workforce. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Probably younger than that. Probably fifteen. Yeah, and he goes, "You will not take." No, 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 no. I thought you might need a need to apprentice a couple of these kids out. No. <laughs> Just check it, man. <laughs> he goes, fifteen hundred. It is. Fifteen and the water. So horrible. you guys horrible. literally strip your boat <laughs> of everything for the rest of the day and night, getting stuff. You know, could could we give this? Is would this be part of it? Oh well, here's a Accom crate. Accommodations here's, will the be provided. Set of well, silver. Yeah. yeah, I'm assuming yeah. they'll give us accommodations while we. They they will, and he wants to steer your ship in. Oh yeah. So he steers it in, and it's kind of this crooked path, and you can see there's rocks here and there, and there's that big 50-foot cliff, and it, it's not real easy to get in. But he gets it into the estuary and then just kind of pulls, you know, hooks your boat up to these ropes, and these oxen start to pull your boat up on to, to dry, dock. dry dock, and instantaneously the workers start to come out and just start to they, they're redoing your boat they're some of the things they're even changing the type of wood yeah you know so it's kind of like showing up with a pickup truck at home depot exactly <laughs> <laughs> this is quality work this is how professionals work. yeah yeah you would be mindful to watch oh come on so your boat is, is the pretty much guy. stripped bare right now um He's and like uh, Q. Side quest on the island. He's like, he's like Q, you know, from James Bond. And then, man. you know, like I said, it, it starts to happen pretty quickly. And soon enough, there's torches out and they're working at night. And it's, it's, it's a sight, you know. It's like, wow, this is awesome. You have all these men just running around your boat and they're working. And there's this one kid, he's probably 19, 20. And he is flying around your rigging. This You've what, never seen anything need. like it. <laughs> we could use this kid. You have <laughs> never seen anything like it. This kid can get from, you know, one spur of your mast down to the door in four seconds. You know, he's incredible. So clearly his skills are being wasted in construction. Is that you, what I'm you hearing? You answered my question. <laughs> yeah. Teacher, you already answered my question. Yeah. Um, you know, and as you're pointing it out, and one of the workers walks by, and he's, you know, he, he's just like watching it. He's like, oh, look at Jacoby go. Kobe. Jacoby. Jacoby. <laughs> Jacoby. Speaking of Kobe, he's playing. So, um, the next morning, they give you a nice little place to rest. It is hot as hell in this jungle area and there's just it's relentless there's mosquitoes it's not a real great night's sleep but it is you guys get some good rest you feel safe here at least 
but it's a very small place. I mean, other than the few huts and stuff like that, that's about it. And is it Holy Moses hot or is it Gee, I wish I put deodorant on my nuts hot? Gee, I wish I put deodorant on my nuts hot. Good <laughs> <laughs> clarification. That's pretty hot. <laughs> it is. And the morning you guys wake up, Rickety is knocking at your door. And he kind of enters and he goes, <sighs> We've uh, come to the point in time where you need to tell me some information regarding this process. This is an art form, and like any art form, I need a muse. He goes, I take it you want to be free captains in the shackles. Yes. Of course. He goes, do you have your flag? Oh, oh, oh. oh as you may or may not, not know, I'm trained in seamstress. <laughs> <laughs> he is. So I've been waiting for this <laughs> moment my whole life. Uh, we, don't, we don't have our design yet, no. He goes, do you have a theme for the ship? Octopi? Octopi. Multiple octopi. Mm -hmm. Interwoven octopi. <laughs> I like it. An and octopi alcohol. carpet. And alcohol. Yeah, and rum. I think a powder keg. The, dr the drunk no, no, octopus? No, no, no. I think, I think an octopi <laughs> on a powder keg. They might that, think it's a perfume keg. No, 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 no. <laughs> because that kind of... That's only alcohol. That's, that's <laughs> our crew. We're kind of a powder keg. With an octopus. Yeah. 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 I don't know what I'm saying. Yeah. Interwoven. Yeah, interwoven. Are we, wait, are we talking about the we're talking about the flag at this point? <laughs> the flag yeah. and theme. He goes, you know, for the flag, you must have colors if you want Red them. Red, yellow. Symbols, size, because size matters. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and the material it will be made out of, because not all flags are made out of the same material. Well, I think hemp goes without saying. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of We're hemp not that type of crew. <laughs> purple, right? Purple? No purple. Octopi or purple? I don't know. I think that'd look really nice. Black ink and gray. It's kind of cool. Black gray and red. black and red. No, black and red. <laughs> Blood and ink. Yeah, good point. Yeah. Black and red. Black and red. Need a blue black lightning and... bolt on there somewhere, too. And a poinsettia plant. <laughs> Black and red. Right, right. An octopus. Octopus. On a powder keg. With a spigot. On a powder keg. <laughs> okay. Are, are we going to get one Google search to come up with the best? <laughs> 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 this is your logo. <laughs> oh, God, it's for Fortune. <laughs> and, uh,. <laughs> And you he, put octopus in there, it's hentai automatically. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> it's going to be inappropriate. <laughs> and he, he, he just kind of nods and goes, I can work with this. Mm. I can work with this. He goes, is there a particular god or goddess that needs to be shown some priority on your ship? I think we should stay neutral. We all have our own. No, we have to have someone's blessing. Someone not too offensive. As to tease the radicals on the left, but to appease the middle. Well, Gozer is all about the radical on the left. See, Kate and Kayleen, everybody can stand behind him. Because that's drinking. Yeah. You, you know what? That's good. We all like drinking, right? Yeah. Kate and Kayleen's all about the drink. And it's not, not, it's very neutral, God. Yeah. Revelry but sometimes party. the forgetfulness that's imposed by the alcohol causes us no, to forget you, the story. See, you don't know enough. <laughs> you don't, Kayden doesn't like drinking for the success. Well, I thought we did. <laughs> <laughs> did you Google good. our image? No, he. Ah, that's it. <laughs> what? That's our official logo right there. Right. Show it to the camera. Show it to the camera. Yeah. Fashion, awesome, dude. <laughs> well, you got it. I got it. Dude. You got to stop every like 